If you're a fish head, you know the feeling where you're struggling and things aren't, things aren't materializing. And then you start to pick away at it, you know, and you start to figure out the puzzle. And then... Cat. Quick, get out of here before it gets us any bad luck. I'm not a dummy. Where there's food, there's fish. Am I right? Where there's food, there's fish. That's food. Oh my gosh, dude. I'd never seen it that thick. Look at that. Wow. I mean, wow. There's one word in the fall. It's bait. Usually when you find it, you find the fish. Got out of that big glob here. Still a bunch of it around though. You know, like a full eight hour day, I would say it's around, it's got to be around a thousand, honestly. I mean, it's a lot. If you cover water, it like becomes, it becomes mathematics, you know. is an odd looking fish. <laughs> Look at that thing. Dude, it's kind of like me. Short, he's fat, he's been drinking a lot of beer. Uh, hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli. Brand new going Ike I got for you. Listen, we just launched, I'm not kidding you, we are one of my favorite places in the world. This is the Upper Chesapeake Bay and it is the fall. F-A-L-L -L equals bait. And when you find bait, you find bass. This is our first one of the day. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you, we dropped the troll motor not 10 minutes ago, um, and this creek is loaded with bait. That's the thing you want to look for. In the fall, find the bait and you find the bass. Um, first fish of the day, nice fish here on a spinner bait. Is there a better imitation of a shad than that thing right there? Double Colorado white half ounce milk spinner bait? I don't think so. And there's a nice first fish. Short and fat, a little stubby. Probably not quite three, but pretty good one. Hope you enjoy this one. It's going to be good.
not being a very big fish. They sure do fight hard. Hey, look at that. We got us one. Man, I want to tell you something. This has been a struggle. I'm going to be honest with you guys. A lot of guys will edit it out and make them look like they're just on them. We're not on them. We have had two bites today. One on a crankbait, one on a spinnerbait. We honestly are just trying some random stuff. I stopped on a bridge piling and on my first cast caught a smallmouth. So one thing is bridge pilings hold fish year round. Um, the saltwater, freshwater, they always have some fish around them. So this was like an emergency stop. But uh, nice keeper, smallmouth, fall, little, little Berkeley uh, swim bait. That's a power swimmer, 2.8. Shad color, they're eating bait. One word in the fall, bait. That's it. A little bit more in that uh, mid depth. Oh, there it goes. It's a small, small one, but it's another bite. All right. That's another brown one. That little guy. Here, talk about cigar in the bait like you know you can really look and tell by the way they're eating it if you've got the right bait and that one even though that's not a keeper when they cigar it like that you're fishing the right bait nothing right there that's the 3.3 three. that's the 2.8 um, that thing is a great imitator of forage water's clean you know we I, obviously we hadn't had a lot of rain right here so uh, that's hard to beat I mean most of the shad we've seen today, we said it earlier, have been about one to three inches. So that's a two eight, a perfect size. Oh yeah, here it comes, baby. Be a keeper? Look at it, look at the size of the belly. Like that's a great indicator too. I always like to catch these fish, feel that belly. You know, if it's if it's soft, that's all soft, so that's bait. If it was crunchy, it'd be crawfish. A lot of times if they're eating bluegill, you can turn turn them end to end. But that's a that's a shad eater. I'll look down their throat too. Let's just see if we got a keeper here. We do! 13 inches! Hey! And a lot of places in the world, that's a good one. But not here. Alright! Another keeper smallmouth. There we go. Quarter ounce VMC ball head. I've got about uh, 30 inches of fluorocarbon leader. This is 10 pound flora. Got it to 10 pound braid. A Berkeley Power Swimmer 2.8 and I'm literally just threading it. One quick little tip is I always want the boot tail facing down or the opposite way of the hook. That's going to give that bait maximum action. I try to put it in perspective. I want to catch them and I want to you know, you're out here trying to capture some stuff, but man, at the end of the day, I'm doing what I love to do. I gotta remember that more. I, I forget that a lot. Take it for granted. I can't take that for granted, you know?
Get out of the little smallmouth. Doing work. Swim baits doing work, but they're not. They're definitely not the ones we really want, though. They're. I mean, there are big smallmouth in here, like three and four pounders too. These aren't those. <laughs> These are not those. Uh oh, there's a big one. Giant. Giant. Please, please be a bass. I mean, giant, dude. Oh, it's a giant smallmouth. It's a giant smallmouth. Oh my gosh, the three pounder. We just said it. We were just saying these are not those. This is a three, three plus pound smallmouth. Oh, we got on them. What a cool deal, dude. Just develop during the day. Always keeping them honest. You hear me talk a lot about keeping something honest. And that means don't rule it out. Don't rule it out until you try it. That's what keeping it honest means. that four pounder guys all right Whew. catch my breath real quick two lessons man if you're watching I know what you were thinking because I was thinking the same thing boy the fishing's tough the fishing stinks keep an open mind keep grinding in the fall a lot of times you got to keep searching you saw me fishing fast until you get those bites to slow you down we caught some nice small smallmouth couple keepers sticking to the pattern bridge pilings seawalls but we found the right bait I want you to look at this when you find the right bait guys look what happens when you find the right bait it's it's just like magic Whew. finesse swim bait fall fishing keep an open mind and that's a giant smallmouth yeah yeah look at that thing bro Beautiful. That's pretty that is. That's gold, dude. Look at his bugged eyes on him, man. That is a pretty fish. Yeah. Seawall again. Seawall. Same bait. Oh god, please come in here. Oh. Yeah. 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 Alright everybody, there you have it, man. What a great way to end the day. Ran back in where we started. Ran the pattern. Seawall with a little finesse swim bait. Man, when you find that bait. Stick with it. The fish are telling you something for a reason. If there's takeaways for today, here they go. In the fall, find the bait. Find a match for the size and color of the bait. And don't rule anything out. Keep it honest. Great day on the water. Hope you enjoyed this going, Ike. If you do and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. We got new content coming every single week. Shout out to my camera guy, Charles. He's the best. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yo, what did I just say? We hustle, but the night we OD boy! Know that the ride or die. I'm a OD boy! Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat, boy. Know that the ride or die.